Hi students, hope you all are doing well. Today, we will study chapter 1, Knowing Our Numbers. First, Comparison of Numbers. To compare the numbers, first you have to see digits in the numbers. How many digits are there? Example, 395, 4683. In 395, there are 1, 2, 3 digits. In 4683, 1, 2, 3, 4 digits are there. So, more digits are in this number. So, this is the greater number and this is the smaller number. Because I said this 395 is having lesser digit and 4683 is having more digits. So, greater number is 4683 and smaller number is 395. Now, if the numbers having same number of digits, what we will do? See, 7347 and 5264, both are having same digits. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in this case, you have to compare the first digits. That is 7 and 5. So, 7 is the greater digit and 5 is the smaller digit. So, this number is the greater number. And this number is the smaller number. That is 7347 is the greater number. And 5264 is the smaller number. Then now another case. That is the both numbers are having same digits. And the first digit is same. What you will do? You have to compare the second digits. Then second digits which digit is greater. That number will be the greater number. So, in this case, 2346, 2567, both the first digits are same. So, we have to compare the second two digits, 3 and 5. So, 5 is the greater digit. So, this is the greater number. So, greater number is 2346, smaller number is 2567. Now I will explain one more example for you. This example you can see both the numbers are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 digits. So number of digits are equal here. So we have to compare with the first digit. In this numbers both the first digits are same. Then second digits are also same. Third digits are also same. So, we have to compare with the fourth digits. That is 8 and 9. 9 is the greater digits. So, 76,493 is the greater number. And 76,482 is the smaller number. Now, we will see ascending and descending order of numbers. In ascending and descending order, how we can arrange the numbers? I will show you an example here. 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers are given here. First you have to compare the digits, number of digits. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, these numbers are having 5, 5 digits. This number is only having 4 digits. Though, this will be the smaller number. Then, in ascending order, I have shown here one example for you. See, ascending order, we have to arrange the numbers from smallest to greatest. In descending order, you have to arrange the number from greatest to smallest. So, smallest number is 6895. Next, smallest number is 23,787. Then next will be 24,569. Then the last number will be 24,659. Now we will arrange the numbers in ascending order. Ascending order you have to arrange the smallest number first. Then you have to arrange the other numbers accordingly. First number I have shown here, second number, then third number, then fourth number. 
then I have arranged all these numbers in ascending order here. Can you see that? Then next is descending order. Descending order, you have to write the greatest number first. Then you have to arrange the numbers accordingly. Can you see? Greatest number, then smaller number, then you can see accordingly the numbers I have arranged. Now I will explain you how can we make greatest and smallest numbers using the given digits. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4 digits are given there. 4, 7, 5, 0. So you can see that I have numbered these digits according to descending order. First 7, then second 5, third 4, then Last one is 0. So, for making the greatest 4 digit number, without repeating the digit, we can arrange the numbers in descending order. That is greatest to smallest. Then first 7 will come, then second 5, third 4, then the last digit is 0. For making the smallest 4 digit number, <coughs> we can arrange the numbers in Ascending order. In ascending order, if you see, the smallest digit is 0. As you know, no number is starting with 0. We can arrange the next smallest number, that is 4, then 0, then 5, then 7. Then you will get smallest 4 digit number. Can you see that? Then, now we will study how can we make Greatest and smallest four digit numbers using the given three digit using one digit twice. Greatest number we can make using the greatest digit two times. That is nine two times will come then five then zero. Then for making the smallest digit you have to arrange the smallest digit first. Smallest digit is 0. Then first I said no number is starting with 0. So you have to start with the 5. Then you have to arrange 0 2 times. Then last 9. Then you will get smallest 4 digit number using 1 digit twice. Understood everybody? Now, I will explain you how can we read and write the large numbers using place values. First, we revisit the place value system. First, I will explain you Indian place value system. In Indian place value system, there are periods and places. You can see here, I have shown you periods in different colors. That is, one period, thousand period, lakh period and crores period. Each period is having places also. One period is having three places and all other periods having two, two places. One period is having ones, tens, hundred, thousand periods having thousand and ten thousand. Lakh period is having lakh and ten lakh. Crores period is having crore and ten crore. Then how can we read a number Using place value system. You can see I have given a number here. And I have divided the periods using commas. Then accordingly we can read the number. 52 crores, 74 lakh, 2642. Now we will see the international place value system. In international place value system. Each period is having 3-3 three, three places. You can see here, 1 period is having 1, 10, 100 and 1000 period is having 1000, 10,000 and 100,000. And million period is having million, 10 million and 100 million. Now, how can we read a number using international place value system? Here, you can see a number I have given here and I have divided the period using commas. Now, how can we read the number? See, first period is million period, second thousand period, 
and ones period. Then how can we read the number? What is this number? 464. And which period this belongs? Millions. Then 464 million 28,473. Now, how can we write the numerals? Here, I have given a number name. 20 crore 2000. For that, first you have to make the periods and places like this. I have given in the boxes. Can you see that? That is, this is one period. This is thousand period. This is lakhs period and this is crores period. 20 crore. I have put 20 here. 2000. Then 1000 is here. So 2000. Then other places will be 0. Can you see that? How we can write the no number? Then another number name I have given here. 4 crore 5 lakh 26,652. Then you have to start with crores period. That is crores period, lakhs period, thousand period, pounds period. Then you have to arrange the number like this. That is 4 crores 5 lakh 26,652. Understood everybody? Now I will explain you use of brackets. I have given a statement here. 4 multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2. Sum of 9 and 2 means you have to add 9 and 2. That is 9 plus 2. Then 4 multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2 means you have to multiply 4 to the sum of 9 and 2. Here comes the use of bracket. Now we can write like this 9 plus 2 into 4. 9 plus 2 into 4 Means you have to add these two numbers first. That is sum of 9 and 2. Then with the sum you have to multiply the number 4. Now you can write this like this also. I have shown here 4 multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2. Understood? Now if you are writing like this. It is wrong. You have to put the bracket here because we have to add the numbers 9 and 2 first. Then you have to multiply 4. Then for that according to board mass rule you have to use the bracket here. That is the use of bracket I have shown here. Now another case I will explain you. Sony and Rita work for 6 days. Sony works 5 hours a day and Rita works 8 hours a day. How many hours do both of them work together in 6 days? This we can express using brackets. Both they work for 6 days. Number of hours worked by Sony is 5 hours. And number of hours worked by Rita is 8 hours. Total number of hours they worked in one day is 5 plus 8 hours. Now, total number of hours they worked in 6 days we have to find out. For that, you have to multiply 6 with the sum of 5 and 8. Then we can show that using the bracket like this. Sum of 5 and 8 I have put in the bracket. Then you have to multiply 6 with the sum. Understood everybody? Now I will explain expanding brackets. I have given an example here. 7 into 105. You have to find the product of 7 and 105. We can multiply it directly. But instead of that we will use brackets. First you have to split the numbers. That is you see which number is easier for you. That is 105 we can split like this. That is 100 plus 5. Then 7 into 105 you can write like this. 7 
into 100 plus 5. Then you have to distribute or multiply this 7 with the 100 and 7 with the 5 also. 7 into 100 plus 7 into 5. You can see here I have shown 7 into 100 plus 7 into 5. 7 into 100, 700. 7 fives are 35. Then you have to add these two numbers. Then you will get the product of 7 into 105 that is 735. Now another example I will explain you. 18 into 99. So 99 is near to 100. So 99 we can write like this that is 100 minus 1. Isn't it? Then 18 into 99 you can write like this that is 18 into 100 minus 1. 100 minus 1 is 99. You know that. Then you have to multiply this 18 with 100 and 18 with the 1 also. Then you have to subtract the products. 18 into 100, 18 into 1. 18 into 100, you have to put two zeros with 18. Then 18 into 1, 18. Then you have to subtract these two products. Then you will get 1782. Now, we will revisit Roman numerals. You have already studied Roman numerals in smaller classes. So, Hindu Arabic numerals and Roman numerals, I have shown in a table here. You can see that. 1, Hindu Arabic numeral already you know. 1, Roman numeral. Instead of 1, we will write like this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You all, I think you all know these all numbers in Roman numerals. Now, some symbols for Roman numerals have given here. That is for 5 we can write like this. 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. Now, you can write any new Roman numeral using these rules. When you are writing Roman numerals, you have to follow these rules also. If a symbol is repeated, its value is added. That is, I have written here 10 and one more 10 here. It means 10 plus 10, that is 20. Now, if two symbols of 100 I have written here, 100 plus 100, it is 200. But remember, the symbols for 5, 50, 500 are never repeated and also never subtracted. Then we can write 6 like this. That is 5 plus 1. That is 5 plus 1, 6. If we are writing 1 to the left of 5, it means subtraction of 1. That is 5 minus 1, that is 4. The symbol 1 can be subtracted from 5 and 10 only. The symbol 10 can be subtracted from 50, 1000 and 100 only. You have to remember all these rules and when you are writing Roman numeral, you have to apply these rules and write. Understood children? 